Some people are fine with having one specific image set as their wallpaper so that they just don't have to think about it anymore. But many others like it when their Android wallpaper changes from time to time. This is even ideal if you have set up an Android smartphone or tablet as a digital picture frame, but it will also work on your daily driver as well. So today I want to highlight a free application called Wallpaper Changer from Android developer Javelin. This application can be downloaded for free and will work without displaying an advertisement, at least as of recording this video right now. And it doesn't require you to pay for an in-app purchase for it to function either. However, it does lock some more advanced features behind the in-app purchase, which is only a dollar, but that is not required and the application will change your wallpaper without ever having to spend a dime. To start, we just need to download this application from the Google Play Store. You can find it by searching Wallpaper Changer but I will also include a link to the app in the video description below for those who are unable to find it. Once installed, we can open it up and we get to choose how often this application will change your lock screen wallpaper, home screen wallpaper, or both. This can be configured to change after so many minutes after so many hours, or after so many days. You can even set it to change the wallpaper whenever you unlock the phone or by double tapping on the home screen. For this example here today, we're gonna to set this to change every one minute so that it's easier to demonstrate it in the video. Once the change tab is set up how you like, we're then gonna move over to the albums tab and we can select the folder that is holding all of the images you want the application to cycle through for your home screen. So we can just tap that, add a folder, grant access, and we're gonna be choosing the wallpaper folder that I created earlier. Once that has been set, we're just going to tap back and you're going to see that some images have been added to our default album. This is the part of the app that is a bit restricted when it comes to the free version, but it will be fine for most cases. However, if you enjoy the application, then consider paying for the full version or donating to the developer so that they can pay their bills for the work they've put in the app. And again, it's only a dollar if you want to unlock this in-app purchase. Lastly, we have the settings tab where we can choose if we want the image to fill the screen or to stretch to the screen's full resolution or if you just want them to fit so that there aren't any distortions in the photos you have chosen. We get to configure the app to render them at two different display sizes and you can have the application rescan the folder that we set in the albums tab after so many hours in case you like to continually add images to that wallpaper folder that you have set up. There are also some additional customization options here, like having the app use a random order when picking the next wallpaper, or darkening the wallpaper so that it is easier to read and see the icons and widgets on your home screen or lock screen, while also choosing if you want the lock screen to be a static image or no special handling at all. Those are all optional settings, 
but some of them can help the app to display your wallpapers properly. Once we have set up the app, we can activate it on our device by either selecting the wallpaper from the wallpaper picker, or we can use this little bar up here at the top to set the wallpaper. And we can choose it again for just the home screen or the home screen and the lock screen. Once that has been set up and activated, we can go back to the home screen. And remember, we have the app set up to change the wallpaper every minute in this demonstration, but we can have it set up to rotate through your wallpaper images every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, every hour, maybe once a day, or each time that you choose to unlock the phone. That way you're given a new wallpaper to look at each time you go to check the device. But that's all there is to setting up this application. We can see that the wallpaper will change on its own every minute for this demo. And we can see that the images are being changed on their own with the wallpaper changer application. And with this app, I am not having to interact with the phone at all in order for it to cycle through our predetermined set of wallpapers. And that's all that's needed to set up your Android smartphone or tablet to automatically rotate through a collection of wallpapers.